Poco and the Drum by Matthew Forsyth, published by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. The biggest mistake Poco's parents ever made was giving her a drum. They had made mistakes before, like the slingshot and the llama and the balloon, but the drum was the biggest mistake. We shouldn't have given her that drum, said her father. What? said her mother. The drum is too loud. I can't hear you. The drum was a big mistake, said her father. That sounds like a wonderful idea, said her mother, who still couldn't hear what he was saying. The next day, her father said, Poco, why don't you take your drum outside for a little while? But don't make too much noise. We're just a little frog family that lives in a mushroom, and we don't like drawing attention to ourselves. Poco agreed, and she set out as quietly as she could. It had just rained, and the forest was sparkling like an emerald. And it was very quiet. Too quiet. Poco started tapping on her drum just to keep herself company. But something stirred behind her. A raccoon playing a banjo started following her. So Poco hit her drum louder. And then a rabbit playing a trumpet started following him. But Poco kept playing her drum. And then a wolf who couldn't really play anything but was very happy to be near the music joined in. And Poco still played her drum. Then the wolf ate the rabbit. And Poco stopped playing her drum and faced the wolf and said, no more eating band members or you're out of the band. I'm sorry, said the wolf, and he meant it. Then they all started playing again, and soon there was a crowd of animals playing instruments and a crowd of animals following them around, enjoying the music. And they were all following Poco. Poco, your dinner is ready, shouted her father. No one answered, but he could hear music in the distance. And the music grew louder and louder until the crowd swept through the house and carried Poco's parents off into the woods. Oh no, said her father. Oh dear, said her mother. I think that's Poco down in front, said her father. And you know what? What? said her mother, who was just getting the best part of her book. I think she's pretty good. No one could hear what he was saying. But if they could, they all would have agreed. 